my screen recorder recorded the wrong tab. Guess he's got to do this again. Hello my lovelies, and for the second time today, I will be playing <laughs> the NAND game. So in this game, we build a processor from scratch, which I think is awesome. And we're starting with relays. Now in modern day computers, we have transistors. For us, these are functionally the same. They're not the same. Transistors have no moving parts, but here we're using relays because they are easier to visualize. You can see here, we've got that little electromagnet right there. And we've got the little um, switch that we'll be turning on and off. So let's get started. What we're going to start by doing is we're going to make a truth table. Now, if you don't know what a truth table is, that is basically what we see right here. It goes through all the different combinations of inputs and gives the outputs that correspond to them. So the relay for the on, let's start with that. If we have a look, we can see that while the electromagnet is off, the output will basically just be whatever we put in for B, because um, that electromagnet won't turn on and flip the switch and disconnect it. So while A is zero, the output is just what B is. And then when A is one, that switch will be flipped and the whole thing will be disconnected whether there's current going into it or not. So that'll be zero both times there. Now we've done that, let's do the off one next. So here we can see that while the electromagnet is off, that, that'll be disconnected. So while A is zero, because this will be connecting up to A, while A is zero, the output will be zero. So that's zero and zero. So when these are connected up, you'll see that that electromagnet will have to be on, and then it will just be dependent on whether there's current flowing through B. So when the electromagnet is on, so when A is one, it will be either zero or one, depending on what B is. So now we have that, what shall we do next? Okay, so the first thing I noticed is that um, both of our um, truth tables kind of aren't very good at generating new ones. And what I mean by that is you can see here on the NAND truth table, there are um, a lot of ones and not many zeros. What helped um, you work out what to do there is noticing this voltage thing here. These truth tables here, neither of these are giving us the desired results. So we're going to have to chain them together in some way. So like putting one there, putting one there, and kind of feeding them into each other kind of thing. So um, I basically decided just to start kind of chaining a few together using the truth tables. And I mean, you could just do this kind of by trial and error probably, and you would get it pretty soon, I reckon. But I'm going to try and be logical about it. I started with the relay off putting A and B into the off. So that gave, I mean, as we can see, that gave zero, 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 one. And then from there, we got to think about um, how we can make new ones, because um, because of our truth table, that is what we are looking for. So once we fed it into the off, how can we get new ones? So if we look at the relay on, we can see that the only thing that generates a new one is having a zero, a one, and then that puts out a one. So we can use the fact that we've got a lot of zeros from this. And then if the next thing we feed in is the voltage, one, 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 one. And just to explain what this looks like so far, because I realize it might be hard to visualize, we've put A and B through an off relay. And then what we're going to do, we're going to take what that off relay outputs and pair it up with the V and we're going to put that through a on relay. Let's um, work out what that on relay is. So we can see with the fault on it's zero, one, one. So that's one, one, one. And then one, one is zero. And we can see that's actually what we're looking for with the NAND gate. So we actually have our NAND gate. Yes, it is correct. And it is the simplest possible solution. So now for um, the next levels, we all have this NAND gate as a pre-built component that we can use for the following levels. Right, that's the bit of footage I lost. You will now get to see past me complete the rest. Hello my lovelies! And we are ready to go on to the next level, the invert. Okay, just looking at the truth table, this is a NOT gate. I don't know, <laughs> maybe invert is an American thing. Okay. We only have a NAND gate, so we have limited options. What are we trying to do? We're trying to turn the zeros into ones and the ones into zeros. So we can see here when A and B are both zero, the output is one. And then when A and B are both one, the output is zero. 
but we just have an A. So, oh, so we're going to have to put our one input into both of the things anyway. Oh, so this is actually quite straightforward. So we have the A and the B, and boop, A. Oh, that was a quick one. So onwards to AND. Our next task is to build an AND gate using only a NAND and an inverse. Oh, well, <laughs> um, if you don't know what NAND means, it just means not AND. And this is literally a NOT gate. So just connect them up. Yeah, great. Okay, the OR gate. So that is only zero when everything else is zero. Yeah, when A or B is one, then it's one. So we are going to work this out together. So what do we have? We have a NAND, an AND, and an inverse. So let's just make a really long truth table and just try connecting things together. We are trying to get a lot of ones here. So well, another thing, um, because we have, I mean, let's just plop, plop this down to show you what I mean. We have um, two input things and we have four here. Yeah. We're going to have to have some kind of crisscross where two are going into multiple things. And then we're going to have to have something that kind of feeds them back together. I mean, it's not going to be this, but um, yeah, we're going to have to have something looking like that. So we can work out exactly what we need. Well, we're going to be connecting the NAND and the AND, and that's going to be like our A and B. So what can we feed this into to make it um, output our required 0, 1, 1, 1? So let's have a look. Shall we connect it to another NAND gate? What would that do? So you can see here we basically all have 1s and zeros. So what would our 1 and 0 give us? That would give us, well, that would give us 1. So if we try and, what would that look like? That would output all zeros. That's not very helpful, is it? Okay, so I'm suspecting the inverse is going to need to come in here. So, let's see, how can I change this to make this actually good? Okay, new idea. What if we do something like we did the first time? Like with um our not gate beforehand, we um fed um each input into two of the different things. But if we have it be the same thing, so let's try plopping a NAND gate in when both are A. So both as NANDs, we're looking for 0, 1, 1, 1. So is there anything here that we have that will make these two ones into a 0? Well, yes, we... Is it going to be another NAND gate? <laughs> okay, let's look at the second row here. So a 1 and a 0 into a 1, 1 and 0 into... It is, isn't it? So let me just show you what I've done here. We've got, um, we've got A, we've got B. And then we plop both of these into a NAND, and then we plop that all into a NAND. That, that, that's a weird one. I mean, when you're feeding these two into that and then outputting, that's just a NOT. So maybe these should be done with NOT gates? I don't know. It could probably be done either way. Oh, no. I mean, that, that one needs to be a NAND. Okay, check solution. Yeah, okay, so they were equivalent. Wonderful. Okay. XOR. I remember from GCSE, that is an exclusive OR. So, it's going to have the OR, isn't it? It's, it's just, it will. And then, if we go back to our tables, an OR is a 0, 1, 1, 1. And we're going to probably require some other logic gate to feed things into. Let's have a look. What we're doing here, we're turning one of our output ones into a zero. So we want something that can turn two ones into a zero, maybe? Maybe a NAND is the way to go. So let's see. We'll, we'll have an OR. We'll start with our OR. And, well, I mean, let's just have a look. You know what? I am going to just row out everything we have. Now, what can we do with this? Because what we're wanting here, we're wanting zero, one, one, zero. So is there anything we can do to this to um get what we're looking for? So ooh. Okay, so um okay, so this is interesting. I'm noticing that's like symmetrical. And I'm thinking that and that and well and if you have an AND gate takes you to the answer. Let's put this in. We have a NAND gate and we have an OR link. Yeah, because this this is symmetrical. It doesn't matter if it's like that way around, because I mean all the inputs are the same. But anyway, we have that here, and we connect all of these up, and we can see 
That is indeed correct. Hooray! We've done it! And with that, we've done logic gates! We've done the first um set of levels. Okay, so let's have a look. Just a little sneaky preview of what we'll be doing next time in the next video. Arithmetics. See you there, hopefully.